Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow math scholars. Today, with Mr. Woods Teaches, we're going to be going over equal parts of a whole. Having a good understanding of that will help you with your fractions work. Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math. Today, we're going to be going over equal parts of a whole. What are equal parts of a whole? Let's take a look. Here we have one piece, and so that's going to be, it's just one whole piece. Here we have two trapezoids, so that's two halves. We have a hexagon here as well, and it has one, two, three, so we have three thirds. These diamonds here look like they're all about the same size. So there's one, two, three, four. So we have four fourths. Let's take a look at this rectangle, multicolored one. We have one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be five fifths. And then down here, it's a very large hexagon with a hole in the middle, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be six, six. Okay, let's review real quick. We know one is a whole, two are halves, three are thirds, four are fourths, five are fifths, six are sixths. Now what are eight? Well, eight are, let's take a look. Let's put down eight to begin with. Let's have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, with these eight pieces put together, what shape does that make? It makes a square. So now we have this square, and let's see here. I want to have Jersey, Etsley, and Andrew and I have equal shares. How do you think you can break that up? Take a moment to think about it. Maybe pause the video. Okay, we're back. Now we have one for Jersey, one for Etsley, one for Andrew, and one for Mr. Woods. And then we can just repeat that to go across so we each have two pieces. Well, if we put them together again, how do you think we can do that more quickly? We can just look at it as two, four, six, eight. Next up, I'm going to have a couple of sheets I'm going to go over with you where we're going to talk about equal or unequal pieces. And then I'm going to go into practice. And we're going to do one sheet together, and then there's going to be a few sheets for independent practice, but I want to review them with you so that you understand what, what's required of you. So we've gone over what are equal pieces or equal parts of a whole. Let's take a look at these two situations. We have a rectangle that has a line and going through it here. And are these two halves? Let's take a look at it. A half would be at the halfway mark here, not over here. So these are two pieces, but they're not equal. As you can see here and here, they do not equal the same space. Let's look at the circle here. Is it in thirds? No, because we have this large piece, this small piece, and this small piece. And if you recall from earlier, this is unequal. Here and here. They're both unequal pieces. Let's practice a little bit more, but we're also going to uh, name the parts and such. Let's take a look. This first one here, how many pieces do we have? 
we have one, two, three, four pieces. Are they equal? They appear to be because if I did this, that looks like it matches up pretty perfectly with that. So I'd say this is one, two, three, four. So four equal parts. How about over here? We have one, two, three parts, but are they equal? They don't appear to be. So I would say they're three unequal parts. Here, we have three pieces again. We've seen this before, so we know that this plus this plus this are not equal. So we're going to say unequal parts. It says here it's eight. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight. And they appear to be equal, so we're going to say equal parts. And then finally down here we have one, two parts, but they are two unequal parts. Now let's practice what we've learned. Let's take a look here at number one here. It says this shape is divided into three equal parts. What is the name for the parts? So remember it's one, two, three, so three parts are thirds. Let's see what we can do for the next few here. Number two here, we have this shape, and it has one, two, three, four equal parts. And remember, four starts with an F, so what comes the name for this? It's fourths. We have one, two equal parts. It's not tooths. Rather, it's their halves. How many parts do we have here? Well, let's, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight equal parts, and it's eights. E-I-G-H-T-H-S. Eights. Let's look down here. It says, write whether the shape is divided into equal parts or unequal parts. Well, let's take a look. Well, these parts equal this part, and this part equals this part. They don't equal a whole, so the whole thing would be unequal parts. We have one, and it looks the same as this one. It looks the same as this one, and it looks the same as this one. So we have equal parts. And then number seven, the last one. We have one, two parts, but they're not equal. So we say they are unequal. Now I'm not going to give you too much help here. All I'm going to do is just point out the obvious. So when we're looking here, we want to read the directions, <clears throat> write the number of parts, then write the name for the parts. So for example, I'm going to give you number one. So we have, or rather number eight. We have one, two, three. So one, two, three, three equal parts, and they are thirds. So pay attention to what the shape has for you, and we're looking for the number and the name for those parts. Down here in this section, we're looking for whether the shape is divided into equal parts or unequal parts. So remember what we did just prior to this is we're looking to see if the pieces are the same 
size or not. If they're the same size, they're equal. If they're not the same size, they're unequal parts. This sheet is more practice. Let's take a look at the directions. It says draw lines to divide the circle and rectangle into equal parts. When we read this, it says Jisoo wants to draw lines to make eight eighths of a pizza. Emma wants to draw lines, so we're drawing lines again, to make six sixths of a pan of brownies. So you need to do that here. This is your, where you need to draw those lines. Aiden wants to divide a sandwich into four equal parts. Draw two different ways to show how his sandwich could be divided. Again, we're going to have one here and one here. So you have to show how you can divide that sandwich into two equal parts using two different ways. This is your last practice sheet. It's a little more difficult, so let's go through it here together. So up here it says, Rebecca made two pans, so we have two pans over here, of apple cobbler for a picnic with friends. She cut pan A into parts. There's pan A. What is the name? So here we go, the name of the parts in pan A. We're just working with pan A for this one. William said Denison divided pan B into eights. So he has eights. Does this statement make sense? So take a look at this pan here and you need to say you know if it makes sense or not and explain why it does or does not make sense. You have a couple of lines there. And then number 19. Savannah divides her chocolate pie into three equal parts. So that's chocolate pie into three equal parts. Then she divides her coconut cream pie, so there's coconut cream pie, into four equal pieces. So you have to match the sentence to one of these words here to complete the sentence correctly. Thank you for joining Mr. Witz Teaches Math. And remember to be a math person. Now, all you need to do is be a person that does math. Mm -hmm.